Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you're doing well, having a good day. And today I'm going to review two pairs of headphones. This is the original Pump Audio in-ear headphones. And these are the brand new versions, the Pump Audio Mix. So I'm going to do a quick comparison of the two, give you my verdict on the new ones, and uh, let's go from there. So let's check them out. Okay, so quick, we'll take a quick look at the box of the original Pump Audio and one thing it does say in the front is specially developed for lovers of dance music. Now these, um, the original versions, have a frequency range of 16 to 24 Hz. Their sensitivity is 102 dB and 18 ohms. They have a reasonable amount of noise isolation and come with both silicon and memory foam buds and they weigh 15 grams. So if we have a quick look, it's quite a straightforward there's this little box here that slides out. Just grab this here and we'll get. Is it going to come out or is this being silly? Definitely going to come out. There we go. So, if we have a quick look, and I'll put the headphones in the case because I already opened so they would be here normally. And as you can see, you get a lovely zipper case. As you can see that there. And you get the headphones, and if we have a look, they come this groovy orange cable. You've got your mic and your button there. And these are the casings, and if you can see that, they're metal, aluminium, I believe. And they look really nice. They've got lovely flat cables and you can see they aren't knotted, which is really good. In the box, these are the silicon, and you can see that, that's really handy. And then you've got the normal, sorry, these are the comply, these are these the comply, these are just the foam versions that give you a better seal, and then you have the standard silicone buds. You've got your manuals, they show you some more about some of the headphones they do, and so forth. So that's a quick look at the original ones. I'll just put those on the side. What we'll do is I'll put all those bits there, leave that there. In fact, I'll get rid of that so it's out of the way. But I'm going to leave these here just for reference and just zip that so that's flying open. And we've got those hands. That's the original one. So now look at the new mix. So I'll we'll open the box here and again, if you have a look at the box, especially designed for music, for lovers of dance music. And it tells you that you get the carry case, three silicon earbuds, three memory foam earbuds, small, medium, large for both of those. Uh, they guide and warranty booklets. And there's lots of um, people here that um, have actually said these are great. So they've got some testimonials on the back as well. So. The difference with the mix is that they weigh the same at 15 grams, but they have obviously the inline microphone and volume control. The frequency range is slightly wider, so it's 12 hertz to 28 hertz, as opposed to these ones, which are 16 to 24. Sensitivity is the same at 102 dB, and these are 18 ohms. Um, I've got to say, these are quite easy to drive. So if you open the packaging again, obviously for review purposes I have taken these out. And the first thing you'll notice with these is you get the same case. You also get here, you've got various, these are the, um, there's also a, to hold the, kit, the cable here, you get the silicon buds and you get the um, foam buds but in black. So these are orange and this is all in black and if you can see that. And here, just take that off. To distinguish them, they have a less bright colour, and you also have the much easier to use um, inline remote. You've got your plus, minus, play, pause, and again, these are aluminium housing. Um, I've used these quite a bit as well, and um, we're now going to go through some music to give you an idea. Of what these sound like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some tracks on my phone and uh, going to give them a good play. So just bear with me one second.
So what I'm doing at the moment is going to play a couple of tracks and give you an idea how they compare to these. Obviously I've listened to these quite a bit. They're both excellent for dance music. They've got a lot of deep bass. But let's just have a quick look at some tracks here as I'm going through them. So just skip nice good bass here. But also the treble's not too bad as well. So now I hear the Prodigy. This is called uh, Smack. And again, nice deep bass, very punchy, and this is really loud at that volume. This, this is a very easy to drive, but it's the the uh, trebles is is very good, even though these are quite a heavy dance music headphones. And we'll just do another little quick track here. Just get that. Let's quickly let's go full. Again, lots of lots of bass and everything, really nice. So, how do these compare to the original ones? These newer versions, the mix, they're both excellent. Both the uh, original ones here and just takes out my ears. These new ones here, they are really great for dance music. Lots of punch. I would actually recommend these if you just love dance music. As I said, these are recommended for dance music. Um, if I just take off very carefully the um, actual room, you can see that. But you've, they are very, they are very small, very light, and they're very comfortable in your ears. So there we have it. This is um, Gavin from GavinsGadgets.com. Don't forget to go to my website. There's loads more headphone reviews covering Bluetooth, wired, all sorts. If you go to the reviews, the index select headphones and audio you'll find loads more if you like this please leave a thumbs up and i've got another great set of headphones coming very soon speak to you soon bye for now